Great morning, everybody. chill music. Got my hair cut. That's the kind of music I'm into lately. Flow-like, chill-like. So great morning, everybody. You know, just phase place us right here. Welcome to day 25 of the March to Amazing. Um, I'm sure you've figured out now that it's March and uh, that just means that we're never stopping. <laughs> so we're probably just going, we're just gonna, we're just gonna flow on into April. But, um, but we still set our goals for, you know, the month. And um, good, good idea right now in this moment to just remind yourself of what you set out to do in March and are you on task? Um, did you think too big? Did you think too small? Um, do you realize now that, that your March goals, your amazing March goals, were a step towards April? And then you get the idea. So I want to get right into this because I, I've got a little bit of information and I don't want to take too much time. Um, but I want to talk about flow state. So I will provide some uh, other links and information. But I started studying flow. I've spoken about this before, but I started studying it probably about eight, nine years ago. And it was a huge, huge leap in my life. So I'm going to share that with you. But first, I want to remind you that if you want to participate in this, we're all using this book, um, The 15 Commitments of Conscious Leadership. It's going to be the premise of what we do um, here in the group, the group next month. So everybody that does Rise Ups, it's going to be based on some of these unbelievable life-changing concepts that we learn in this book. As I told you before, that book changed my life. So I'm offering that uh, life change to you. So <clears throat> get that book now, because so, that's going to be the premise of April. And that being said, today is going to be in that light, um, in the sense that we journal every day, and we sometimes feel like we have to come up with something new. And I challenge you to understand that there is nothing new. Information already exists, and it's already inside of you, potentially locked as an you know, an, an unguilty, you know, prisoner, you know, unlawfully imprisoned things inside of us. So we unlock them here. So I want you to also entertain the fact that you can read something, listen to something like this and use that information as inspiration to start writing and journaling and come up with your own translation and, and interpretation of it. So what I'm about to do right now is not share new information. I'm about to take something that already exists and it's amazing and I'm gonna translate it to you because um, that's what I do. So this is, this is uh, today's Rise Up is called Flow State. So just try, follow along and I, re I recommend, hey mom, um, great morning to you. I recommend that you take out a pen and maybe write some things down that are relevant and maybe you can expand on them later for yourself and comment here and definitely share this one. Everybody that's on here now live on this Sunday morning at eight, share this because you know, people are going to be like, what? These people get up at 8 o'clock in the morning or 6 or 7 on Sundays and every day, you know, and sculpt their day and create a positive mindset. Yeah. I saw that. I saw that, Debbie. You're here. Good to see you guys. Hey, Susan. Okay. So ever had a great day before where everything just seemed to go well, right? Effortlessly. 
Um, in fact, we call this a good day, in fact, because we compare it, like when we have a good day, we compare that day to other days that didn't go so well. So we say, yeah, I had a good day yesterday. That's in comparison to anything else. But just think about what it means for you to have a good day. So it's silly because I believe that every day carries equal positive and negative feelings and experiences that are both essential for forward progress or our goals. So capture that. Capture that idea that every day carries equal, every day, positive and negative experiences that are both and all uh, just as important in our forward progress. So anyway, the flow state is defined by most most people, when they're in flow, this flow state, I'm sorry, I keep on getting texts from people, um, as things like people say, I'm in the zone, I'm in the pocket, I'm on fire, etc. right? Are you with me? So I'm here to tell you that this flow state very much does exist. There is something called the flow state, and <clears throat> it doesn't happen by chance or luck. You didn't just have a good day. And you're going to tie this all into what you're doing here in this group. You don't just have a good day and you don't just get lucky. Um, it's not a gift from God. You know, I think a lot of people in this world spend a little bit too much time praying over playing, right? So, you know, this is something that you actually create in your life. Nothing is ever given to you. Opportunities and potential is given to you but you create flow state. So get a grasp on that. And you actually are in a phase of that creation right now. So I'm gonna provide you guys with a link, like that's a 45 minute video, so you can go deeper into this if you're excited. Um, and I also recommend that you read the book called Flow, or The Science of Flow, by this guy named Mahali um, Chitsem, to my Holly, <laughs> you'll see his name. Everybody says his name different. But anyway, here are the three big ideas. So you might wanna write some of these down. The three big ideas about this idea of flow. Yes, you don't just have it, you create it. Well, that's debatable too. Um, you access it, I think you always have it. But here are the three big ideas. If this flow state, this thing we're, we're talking about, it silences the inner critic. So we're always talking about the, the little liar, or they say the, uh, the inner Woody Allen, right? So how cool would it be? You know, you ever notice where the little liar doesn't have a say over you, or yesterday doesn't have a say? Typically that has, it has to do with how you're feeling and the state you're in. So the flow state quiets the inner critic. Interested in that? Um, number two, the flow state actually accelerates our path to mastery. So whatever it is that you're working towards, physical, mental, financial, well-being, when you're in flow, you're accelerating your path there. Um, what else did I write about that? So it's not only making the path more enjoyable, but also potentially cutting that time that it'll take to get there in half. And then the third is that it's hackable, meaning once you understand what I'm about to explain and then you reinforce that, remember you have to be in flow by purpose. I love that word purpose, it means you have to work at it. Um, it's actually hackable and we're gonna talk about that. So it has four phases. What I recommend that you do right now is on a piece of paper, it can be messy, draw in the middle of the paper a brain or a circle that represents the brain. And then each time I, I, I'll tell you where to write them, I want you to write these four words that represent the four phases of flow. This is gonna be a really, really great exercise for you. So great, Susan, you read it. Awesome, the science of flow. So brain, and we're gonna put things in the corners. So on the top right corner, so here's your brain, and looking at your piece of paper on the top right corner of that, I want you to write the word struggle. Yep, guess what? The first phase required to enter flow is struggle. <laughs> How funny is that? So my question to all of you guys, and you don't have to admit it, and by the way, whenever we do a rise up from now on, let's all enter the room, and you can do it right now for me, I'm fine with it, um, with 20 hearts. Let's give everybody that does a rise up 20 hearts right when they come on. So pop them off right now, 20 each. Let's honor each other and do that. So on the top right, you write the, write the word struggle, and struggling is the first phase. So guess what? If you're struggling right now, it's perfect. This is exactly for you. If you're obsessed and spending all of your time as a victim, fantastic. You're in the right space to begin this, the, the process of getting in flow. Look at that. Hearts, so many hearts. I can't wait for one of you guys to do the next Rise Up. I'm gonna just heart blast you. So good, you're right where you wanna be in that struggle state. And if we 
if we stay in struggle, here's that first phase. If we stay in struggle, what's going to happen is it's hit or miss, right? If you don't access this next phase, you're either going to be in fight or flight and who knows what's going to happen. And you've been there. Remember, this is not luck. This is strategic. It's hackable. So the second phase, so that's the top right. In the bottom right, the bottom right, I want you to write the word release. This is a very important phase. And acknowledge it represents how we move away from struggle. So the next phase after struggle, right, is how we react to it. And it's called release, meaning release from struggle. So this is crucial because an unconscious victim, right, if you stay in struggle and you're unconscious and you think the world is happening to you, an unconscious victim um, will release from struggle by running away, right, hiding, blaming, justifying, shaming, and it guarantees you, listen to this, if you, if you react to struggle, hey, hey, what's up, Kevin? Good to see you, my brother. You just made my day. Um, if you release from struggle as an unconscious victim, what happens is it's gonna, it's gonna guarantee you, whether you like it or not, an extended stay in struggleville, right? So it's really important to understand release. But a conscious release from struggle move like taking responsibility for your life, eating right, moving right, placing good stuff in your brain and letting good stuff come out of your mouth in affirmations. It almost ensures, it almost ensures that you're going to unlock the door, pass the release phase, and then you're going to go into this secret kingdom that we know is flow. So grasp that. This is going to be a little bit longer than the, the typical rise up, but this is huge, right? So we're in struggle. And how we release from struggle is really crucial. Now, side note, what are we doing when we rise up every day? Why am I here right now? I'm a flow hacker. I've been working at this for about 15 years. And everybody wants to know why I'm always in a good mood and why I find physical, mental, and financial success. It's because I'm manipulating this system, right? And how do I do it? I rise up every day. And when I rise up, I'm hacking flow. Because what I'm working on all the time when I'm doing my discipline um, stuff, I wake up and struggle just like you every day. But what I do is I rise up and I go through that system and I'm releasing from struggle. And guess what happens after you release from struggle? Touchdown! You're in flow. So that's why I have a good day every day. And that's why we've upgraded good day to great day. So phase three, so that release is bottom right. Bottom left, as we're circling around, passing go, collecting $200. Bottom left, we're gonna write flow state, right? Because now you understand how I got to flow state. So after a good read, um, waking up early, journaling, going, go, uh, go wor good workout, accomplishment, full engagement, positive feedback, sense of belonging, that's what we're doing here. All of those things are release state. What happens is, is we enter the flow state, right? Ask somebody that did a rise up how they feel right after it. Ask yourself why you keep coming back and listening or watching the recording. It gives you a little bit of a sample of that, how that positive information and that reinforcement brings you into flow state. Catch that. You can actually manipulate this by doing rise ups and doing this every day and doing a whole bunch of other stuff. So let me get this. So you know what this feels like if you've been following the structure and flow of journaling, doing the rise ups, getting up early, doing all those things. They might seem like a struggle, good thing, right? But what you're doing is you're working on that release phase and you're moving into the flow state. You always feel good after. Have you ever gone to the gym and felt bad after? Have you ever felt bad after drinking a, good, a, a glass of water? Have you ever felt bad after hanging out with these people? Let's get, let's upgrade. Let's unlock that prisoner. So welcome to the, welcome to the flow state and welcome to the new reality that by rising up and sculpting your day every day, you are in fact becoming a flow hacker, right? Now, where did I put this? I want to, I want to be, there's a, there's a little bit of word of a caution here. So when we're working on that release phase and we're in struggle, I want you to, you know, I'll call you guys flow seekers right now. There are individuals out there that make a full-time job of trying to interrupt our flow. You know those people. In fact, sometimes you are that person, right? And they try to interrupt flow. What I call them is flow burglars. So be on the lookout for flow burglars. There's certain people that 
are not in a good place in their life. And when they see you doing positive release, right? Those are the ones that put you down. What's funny is it's typically the people closest to you. They will actually say, why are you doing that? You're being obsessive and all that stuff. Those are flow burglars. So it's okay, they're not gonna go away. Don't run away from them. They have a role too and we, we wish them goodwill. But whenever they offer you, the, offer you their bullshit, just simply say thanks, but no thanks. I'm on my way to flow if you don't mind, right? And they might fight you a little bit more on that but by, by bypassing them, you'll bring them along. So flow state, you understand how to get to flow state. So now in the top left, after flow state, you have to write recovery. This is really, really important. A lot of you will, will not allow yourself to go into flow state because you'll, you're, you have this belief system that it will only last for a little bit. It was just a short high because your past experience tells you that nothing lasts forever. Right? So recovery is really important and it's really important to identify what it is. Because here, what did I write? Here is, here is what you fear after being in flow, that it will end and you will lose your high. In fact, many of you will claim that you don't want to get into flow state as you know it will end. Well, yes, it does end and thank God it ends for two reasons. Very important that that flow state, that high ends. Okay, if it didn't pass, you'd die. <laughs> you couldn't handle being in flow always. There's different phases of flow, right? It's called a flow state, right? There's, there's a sequence to it and all of them are just as important. You just have gotten attached to the fact that being in flow is the part that you enjoy the most. I want you to get attached to all components of the flow. So that top left called recovery, very, very important because if you didn't, you'd overdose and you'd lose touch with the reality that that exists. Flow only exists because of the other states, right? So I want you to get attached and love them all. The second reason why it's important that we go into recovery is it's where you have the opportunity right? It's an opportunity. It's not a downer. It's not a down from the high. It's an opportunity to debrief and process what just happened. Why is that important? When we process things, it gives us the ability to file them away and evolve and transform and take these new lessons. It's not like this drug that we're constantly trying to do. When you're in flow state, you're, you're accelerating uh, to mastery faster, everything's working better, so you're also retaining information. You have to file that information away, which happens in the debrief of the recovery. So that's the flow state, and I guess right now what I want you to, what, what I want you to do is jump into, yeah, we could get flow hats. My mom has an idea we'll get a flow hat. Um, what I want you to do right now is just understand, increase the value of what you're doing right now. What you're doing right now is not just doing your best. What you're doing is, is you're working at this idea of placing yourself in flow. Why do you wanna be in flow? Well, it feels good, yes, but that's not the big reason. The big reason is, is it is going to fulfill your life. It's gonna give you more joy. It's gonna give you more peace, especially when you understand that struggle. After recovery, you're gonna jump back into struggle. Struggle's gonna come, somebody's gonna die, somebody's gonna bum you out, some, some bill's gonna come. All that stuff is gonna come and it's a damn gift. When you get that struggle coming back into your life, it is a gift because it's the universe saying, hey, you wanna go back into flow? Here's your opportunity. Love and appreciate you, share this, get the book. We're getting ready for April right now. Best shape of our lives, physically, mentally, financially. Love you guys, watch out for those flow burglars. Go to the gym today, nobody else is. Drink water today, eat healthy today, get in the 1%. Do a rise up, volunteer to do a rise up.